Hello, this is Laura Pizzell, and this is a presentation, the MS IDT program featured alumna interview with Jean Marie Venturini, who has a Master of Science in Instructional Design and Technology. Hello, my name is Laura Pizzell, and I'm here to introduce Jean Marie Venturini, an MS IDT graduate in 2016. Jean Marie is currently an instructional designer at Otis College of Art and Design in Los Angeles, California. Jean Marie is responsible for providing assistance to faculty for online blended or technology enhanced courses. And she also provides te technical support in the development of new courses with applied learning theory and current instructional design methodologies. Jean has also developed and taught an online pedagogy courses for faculty on best practices in e-learning and training programs called Bricks and Clicks the how-tos of e-learning. In addition, Jean has collaborated with Dr. Parme Guentanini and co-authored an article called Learning by Doing Using e-Portfolios for Assessment at Otis College of Art and Design. And most recently, Jean co-presented at the 2016 Online Learning Consortium Innovative Conference in New Orleans. Her topic was overcoming barriers and resistance to training development programs. Welcome, Jean Marie. Thank you, Laura. It's my pleasure to be here to share my experiences with others. Hi, Jean Marie. I understand you wear many hats at Otis College. Can you please tell me about a typical day as an instructional designer? And in your career, what variety of tasks do you do on a daily basis? Thank you. I do wear many hats, and I think that's true for a lot of instructional designers. My typical day sort of includes two different components. I always like to look at my day as the support, the teaching component, and then of course there's the innovative strategic planning component. So of course support, I first and foremost, always want to be available for faculty for any type of drop-in help. Not only do I work with faculty to develop e-learning curriculum, to work and learn different new and emerging technologies, but also I support them in learning our learning management system, Digication. So that's part of my day. I also have the opportunity to be a faculty at Otis and I lecture and teach one of the first year English courses. And so that's, of course, really important because it allows me to put into practice a lot of the pedagogies and methodologies I want to share with faculty. And I think it makes a difference to be able to share my firsthand experience. I know what they're living with in the classroom, and I know the type of students they're working with. I've gone through those same obstacles, challenges, uh, and I know have an insight of what can work well given the different situation. And then, of course, that other part of my day is that strategic planning, forward thinking initiative side. I sit on an e learning advisory committee, and it's this great committee that we put together at our institution that encompasses directors, administrators, faculty, and academic department heads. And it's a small group, but it's a group that really focuses on strategic thinking. What are our goals with e learning? What are new projects we're interested in experimenting and piloting? Uh, out of that committee, you know, we developed the Bricks and Clicks course you mentioned earlier, which is a training course for faculty. We also launched several art and design MOOCs through this committee. iPad pilot projects for faculty, iPad classes for students. Uh, and currently our goal is really looking at building our online course offerings, the future of online certificates. So I think that being part of that group to be able to look ahead into the future of where we're going in the next two, three, four, five years, 10 years, 15 years, is also, I think, a really big component to what I do as an instructional designer. Hi, Jean Marie. Please share with us any career skills and knowledge gained while in the MS IDT program. I know we had so many things that we learned, adult learning theories, technology, so many wonderful aspects of the MS IDT program. Anything that really stands out as something that was really like a take home for you? And what are your particular strengths? Thank you. 
There are a few things that I really remember from the MSIDT program that certainly supported my career and improved my knowledge. Uh, the first and foremost was the emphasis on learning theory. I came into instructional design from a very practical background. I was an instructor, a faculty member that was really good with technology, and I found myself helping so many of my colleagues and I naturally moved into that position. So for me, getting that strong theoretical foundation, really learning the history of the field, how it fits within learning theory, the different types of learning theories, that really provided me a strong foundation. I think also the opportunities to do a lot of research into the field, to read different studies and have access to that information was also important. The other thing, and this took me a while to really think about, but I, I recognized, wow, that was also really helpful. It had been a long time since I was a graduate student. And the last time I was a graduate student, I was a graduate student in a face-to-face -face program. So the fact I was now participating as a graduate student in an online program, I thought was really important because it reminded me of what that e-learning experience is, is like for students. And it suddenly put me in that student role and I was able to go, wow, okay, these are, these are some of the things I'm struggling with. These are some of the things I love. So it opened my eyes and reminded me, okay, these are, this is what it's like. And I think having that experience allowed me to better support faculty when they were going into that world and looking at teaching classes with more virtual or te technological components. And just to briefly answer that second question about my particular strengths, I think definitely for strengths, the willingness to collaborate uh, coming in with some experiential background, teaching, I think is an absolute strength to being an instructional designer. Uh, it took me a while to build relationships with faculty to get them to trust and see me as a source of knowledge. So definitely that sense of patience and certainly being organized, just keeping track of what everyone's doing and who's doing what and the questions and the projects. Certainly being organized and efficient in managing all that is helpful as well. Jean Marie, thank you again for taking the time to share about your instructional design career. I really learned so much and I feel really excited and I can't wait to start my career as an instructional designer. You've been very supportive and instrumental in helping me to keep moving forward and keeping the dream alive. So thank you so much. Thank you as well for allowing me this opportunity to share some of my experiences. I certainly wish you and the other instructional designers the best of luck, and thank you. Connect with us. If you're interested in earning a Master of Science in Instructional Design and Technology, please contact us at msidt at fullerton.edu. You can also visit our website to learn more about our program and here is a link to the website. Thank you very much. Have a great day.